In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the secret to bombing coverages in Madden 22. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And I just wanted to tell you that I think this video is going to help you. Um, it, it's really helped me as I look at uh, routes and understanding what are the effective routes that you want to look for when we're talking about Madden. And one of the things that I really want to just highlight for you in this video is the why behind the what. Every year in Madden, there are certain routes that are more effective than other routes. This year, um, the wheel route is probably one of the best routes in the game, the wheel route from compression. Um, let me give you another example of of this uh, last year was the year of a couple different routes were really powerful the s post was really good against man the uh, tight a uh, smart routed corner route was one of the best routes in the game last year this year it's not that great and so every year the game shifts and changes and in this year's game in my opinion um, the best bomb route um, is the deep post now again the deep post kind of typical in Madden it's one of the best routes in the game year in and year out but different posts do different things and uh, today I want to talk about that I want to teach kind of more of a conceptual video if you want to learn the practical implications of this I would really encourage you to join my patreon that's where you can get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks including my trips tight in offensive ebook my gun U trips offensive ebook my bunch offensive ebook all of my defensive stuff which I think is some of the best stuff in the community this year I got a really 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 good defense out of big nickel over G um, I've got a ton of other ones we've got over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks this year that you'll get instant access to by joining the membership again it's only ten dollars to sign up if you want to but let's get into the video because again year in and year out you need to test these routes and you need to find what are the routes in this year's game that are the best best routes in the game okay so without further ado let's jump into the video now we know that one of the best post routes year in and year out um, is comes to us out of the I want to say it's the bunch uh, the bunch trail is one of the best post routes year in and year out. Okay, so what we want to do is we we'll just call this play, and we want to just run the route. We want to see what does the post route do against cover four, and where does it stop? If you see right here, he's going to actually stop running. That's a really important thing to analyze and understand. So if I'm on the short side of the field, I see that he's going to run the post from here all the way to just in front of the numbers. Okay, so right about there. So that doesn't seem to me like something we can use to get over the top of cover four, and I'll show you why. Because the inside quarter in a cover four, typically speaking, is going to bail back. Now, you see there, that's a really tight throw, and as you can see, most of the time that's going to be intercepted. So if you throw really late into the play. Now, um, you always want to test on both hash marks. So how does this work to the short side? How does this work from the wide side of the field? So if I want if I wanted to run this from the uh, short short side post, you're going to see that he's not going to go as far. Notice that he stops in the hash marks as opposed to before he gets to the numbers. In this year's game, a lot of bombing coverages, especially um, with the way that Madden works this year, is related to understanding how far the post runs. That is a really important thing. So let me give you another example. Let me go to the gun spread. I think they have one. If they don't, there's another playbook. Let me see if I can maybe just find it in the shotgun. Here we go. Uh, normal Y off. Let's just see if they have, uh, I'm looking for a specific type of post. I bet normal Y off close has it. Here we go. Um, red zone scissors, okay, from normal Y off close. So this looks like another different type of post it's an s post but if you notice it's a little bit straighter than um than a, uh, like a pa shot post or a z spot from a bunch years ago so let's just see how this does against cover four so you see this post is going to run let's see how far he runs he runs he runs and he stops so you see that so from the short side of the field going to the wide side of the field he's going to stop about the numbers now another important piece of this is to understand okay um now, how does he do to this side of the field? So we're gonna do the same thing, just kind of roll out. And what you'll see is he's gonna run and run and run. And now you see, oh, look at that. So if I was to run this post uh, to the short side of the field from the wide side of the field, 
um, you're going to see, you know, that essentially he's going to run a little farther um, because he's running from the short or from the wide side to the short side of the field. So that's kind of a little bit of a tip in terms of, you know, how do these post route work? And as you can see, he's going to run. And you see there, he's like going to basically run uh, until he gets to the numbers. Now, with all this in mind, I'm going to take you to the next post route, which I believe is is one of the best ones uh, in the game this year. And that's from the Trey Y Flex. You can find this in a lot of different formations. Actually, you know what? We're going to show it from a different formation. Um, I think it's in doubles Y off week. The play is double post. You see this post route on the left. This post route this year is probably the most effective post route in the game. It's a deeper, deeper post route, and it's going to run farther and longer. If you see how deep of a post route that is, that is really a, an interesting thing. So now I'm just going to run the cover four, and we're just going to put a streak on the field and just kind of watch this play. And what you'll see is this post is going to run, and as you can see, he's going to run. And he actually does stop, but because he's such a, it's such a deep post, the cover four inside quarter on the back side, which is the only zone that will play it um, in this game, that is not going to play it very well just based on the fact that it's such a deep post. He's already well over the top of that player. So I can pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, I'm able to beat the coverage over the top with that post route. Now, cover three and cover two are much easier to bomb this year, in my opinion, than uh, cover three or uh, than cover four. So here's cover three. Cover three is very simple. Again, these deep post routes just kill cover three this year. You just pass that to the inside. Now, I will say the outside third in doubles does play it a little bit better. There's easy ways around that. We could motion the running back, just float the running back on a wheel and do this. Just do this. I mean, this is the easy way. And then what you'll see is this third will get glitched by the wheel. And then now, as you can see, boom. Okay. So you see why this post is good. Now, the post from Trey Y Flex is a little bit different than this. So I, let's go ahead, go ahead and go over it while I'm talking about it. But if you're noticing all of these different post routes, they do different things. And you need to test what the best post route is. And notice that I haven't even talked about the Hot Route Master Skinny Post. Because the Hot Route Master Skinny Post, in my opinion, it looks it's kind of a worse version of Bunch Trail. So here is this Hot Route Master Skinny Post. I'm on the wide side, going to the short side. Watch where he stops running. He's going to stop running right there, which is terrible. That's not where you want him to stop running. You want him to keep running. The longer the post runs, the actual better it is for the playbook or for the formation. So here's this uh, PA Crosser one. And notice that this, again, has that deep stem, longer post. That's what we're looking for this year. So boom, boom. I just do something like this. And what you'll see is now this post will absolutely just continue to run and run and run and run and run. And there I threw it just a split second. But you see how far it gets over the hash marks. So you either want something that's going to run really long across the formation, like a crosser almost. Or you want something like what I'm showing you here where it's so deep that that inside quarter is not its not going to feel in his grid. He's not going to know this. And I guarantee you that this bomb will probably work next year and the year after that because it's been a thing as long as I've been in Madden. The deeper the post route, the better it is, especially against cover four. Might not be to cover three as good next year. Might not be cover two as good next year. But because of how good this post route really is, you see here that cover three, cover two, cover four doesn't matter. This post will beat all of them. Why is that the case? Because of how deep the post route is. It's really important that you understand that. Um, if I were to run a standard skinny post, I'll show you real quick. This is the exact same route combination that just beat cover four but I'm gonna run my hot route master skinny post. And what you'll notice is he will, he he has a chance to get open, but he's really not that likely to get open, okay? He's much better against, it's much better against cover four, uh, or not cover four, it's much better against um, uh, cover three and cover two. So I'm just gonna put the standard hot route master skinny post out here, boom. And then what you'll see, pass lead once he crosses the face, See how that safety can kind of get there? He's not in this example, but I'm just telling you from personal experience, if they inside quarter on that side, that's something that you need to be concerned about. So that's part of breaking down coverages and understanding what do all of these different types of routes do? How long do they run? How deep do they run? How does it work against an inside quarter? 
and we take the lab work out of that for you in our offensive and defensive ebooks. And so if you want to check out our Patreon, it has all of those things broken down in detail, all the lab work's done for you, and you're able to understand and learn Madden in a deeper way um, than you probably have before. So I really encourage you, if you're looking to really improve your game and get ready for Madden 23, Make sure you check out the Patreon membership. We've got a ton of really cool stuff coming up. Just did a major update to our Trips Tight End offensive ebook and also just released our big nickel over G defense. If you want to check out all of that stuff, everything is unlocked by joining the membership. It's only $10 to sign up for it. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. And again, like I said, you get over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out that membership down below, and we'll see you guys next time.